uh, where I had a toast. I'm wearing my first pair of jeans. Oh, perfect. You can talk about that. I just said my um, brother cut them. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because that was the thing with the first jeans, they did the length 36. Uh -huh. Like nobody does that. For me, it was perfect. And then my brother cut them. <laughs> I was very lucky to get my first pair of acne jeans from Michael Schiller. I think that was probably the first thing I ever got gifted in my life. <laughs> I walked into um, this shop called Juice. They were selling some nice jeans and I never bought the clothes that weren't second hand. Uh, and then I wore them every day. Like I had never heard of acne, but I really loved them. So I wore them every day for years. So I got a tub of textile glue that I, I was always carrying in my handbag. And then whenever a new hole would come up, like in the airport or something, I would go into the bathroom and fix it. I always also remember when you visit them in their head office, it scared me a little bit because they were so cool. Everybody was good looking. And in the lobby, they didn't have any chairs. It was these soft foam things uh, down on the floor. And it was very hard to sit cool and beautiful. But there were always these models hanging around, sitting on these foam squares. And I, I don't honestly knew if that was their job or not, but they just hanged around all the time. So I remember when the first jeans came with the red stitches. Uh, I would say my most important memory is from 2003, when they were still just a denim brand, but they launched, they also presented for the first time like a blazer, a jacket. So for me, working at the men's magazine as a fashion director, this was like a, the new look. Because this was the first time you could wear like jeans then in, with a blazer in a modern way. I come from, you know, simple circumstances where you have to fight, work hard. And finally, uh, I had the money and I was brave enough to go into the cool acne shop to buy the pants. And this was actually the last pair. I like the... Uh, individuality and um, the personality in acne and the people that are the followers. I was being kind of unfaithful at the time, trying different brands and everything, and I found the pair I'm wearing today. And it's almost 20 years later, and I promise you I'm wearing them almost two times a week. They've done like a evolution because they went from like a production agency to work with fashion and they're like top tier of fashion right now, which I think is amazing. And they're always exciting to see what they're coming up with the next collection. You asked me what I feel about it. Uh, maybe proud? Is that a feeling? I feel sexy. I have uh, great self-confidence. And I feel that I have the right pieces on me. For me, it's just, oh, it's just acne. But for all these other people, it really need, means something. I wore those jeans every day for years, so it's, uh, it, it makes me a bit melancholic because it makes me think of those years, my late teenage years. I love the acne years, I'm still wearing them, what, 20 years later? So yeah, that's my story. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs>